My name is Gerardo Gonzalez. I'm from Venezuela. I live in Caracas. I'm a sociologist and I hold a master's degree at CETLA. And I graduated in 2004. I think I'm the only Venezuelan who has graduated from CETLA. <laughs> and uh, yes, I, I came here to speak today at the University of Amsterdam about uh, the situation in, in Venezuela. I gave uh, the general public an idea of what is the political, social, and economic uh, situation in my country. I think in general it was a very pessimistic pe uh, situation because Venezuela is at the top of the news all over the world, I think, for its political situation and also because of its economical situation. We have a situation in Venezuela where um, hundreds of, and probably millions of people are facing a lot of economic hardship and that hardship uh, manifests itself in that there is no food, the inflation rate is over 300 percent only this year and people calculate it will be 1000 percent at the end of the year. So people are living under a lot of economic stress and uh, also as most people know there have been for the last three months a lot of protests in Venezuela related to the role of the government and the current affairs and the issues that are happening in my country in terms of political, uh, the political situation, uh, the democracy in general, the lack of institutions, which I, I talked a little bit about today in my presentation, but also because of the general lives of Venezuela. I mean, the, the, the quality of life of Venezuela is uh, very much uh, diminished. In uh, several indicators, tell us that the quality of life of Venezuelans in general has diminished uh, by over um, seven or eleven percent of the middle class has been reduced. Uh, Venezuelans have lost eight kilos of weight in the last year and a half. Uh, the problem in the health system is very bad. The, pr the problem in, the, in, in, in uh, the insecurity is very bad. So you have a very complex situation where uh, politics, uh, which could be the solution to all of this, is under a lot of stress. And, and you have two, two main actors, which is the opposition and the government, uh, trying to establish themselves in and in, in, uh, creating a, a, a very strong political situation which we have seen in the last uh, few weeks. I think the protests are a combination of economical factors and political factors and I think in the end Venezuelans uh, will have to decide their fate uh, based on, uh, on uh, how they could in some cases negotiate some kind of uh, transition and I didn't say this in the presentation but some kind of, 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 of new way of, of trying to find a, a convergence between both sides. In the end I think it was a presentation that tried to highlight the problems Venezuelans are facing, what they are trying to do about it and uh, how we can move forward in a country that has a very weak institutional basis. Thank you so much.